OK, so to return to the issue of thinking differently about patient safety, the questions you've been asked address three fundamental ways of thinking about organisations. The first way is a way called functionalism. Functionalism tends to see organisations a bit like machines, with components that need to be wired together properly in order for them to operate correctly. A lot of patient safety literature, for example, talks about influence from the airline industry where improvements in airline safety are seen to translate into improvements in hospital safety. A second way of looking at organisations is to think about the experience of people who work in those organisations. The study of experience in organisations belongs to a field of philosophy called phenomenology. And again, there is a lot of work on the phenomenology of patient safety. The third way of thinking is to think about the broader political and social implications of patient safety. And this usually involves thinking about uh, critical theory and politics. So when we think about these three dimensions, we can now look at the answers that you've given to the three areas of questioning. So firstly, we questioned you about your experiences and what you thought your patients' experiences were. Then we asked you about the barriers and possible solutions that you thought there might be to barriers. And then finally, we asked you about the winners and losers, the political dimension. And each of you will be slightly different in the way that you've answered these questions.